Hello everyone, um, this is Christian from ReviewTube. Um, today I'm going to be showing you basically what is SketchUp. Now Google SketchUp is a piece of software offered by Google. It's pretty much a substitute for other software like Vectorworks or you know basically other design software. This is, this is the one that Google offers. It's free which is the best thing about it. Um, I'm using it on a PC you can okay what what I just did there was I can choose what I want my measurements to be in so if I want it to be in millimeters I can have that millimeters I want to be in feet and inches I can have feet and inches uh, meters centimeters whatever okay so base let's get down to basics all right you say you want to make a house for this woman here right first thing we're going to do we're going to select the rectangle tool we're going to draw a small rectangle like that okay there we go. Now we use the mag little magnifying tool here, and you can use your mouse wheel and zoom in and out, or you can just literally do that. Okay. So the select tool. Um, you, can, you can use the orbit tool to move around, which gives you like a 3D perspective of it, which is quite cool. Which is quite a good little thing there. But I think possibly one of the best, the best, the best tools on this piece of piece of software is the push pull function. This little thing up here you just click on the surface that you want and you drag it upwards and that makes it a box which is very helpful for making a house because obviously houses aren't flat right okay um, now so you want to make a door for this house how should we go about doing that well I'll tell you, you get the rectangle tool so we want to make a little door here there we go like that okay you get the push tool show it in there get the select tool select the under bit of it and delete. As you can see, we've pretty much got a house inside here now. So that is that's um, that's from a 3D perspective. Obviously, it's hollow inside because it's a house. Right. Okay. So um, so you want to make some windows. What kind of tool you use for windows? Well, it's pretty simple actually. I mean, these rectangle and circle tools are your main two tools. So you want to make a circular window next to the door. So you get a circle like that. Just zoom around a sec. Then you just literally get the select tool. You select the centre bit, the, the bit we want the want to be, and I just press delete on the keyboard. And what that does is, if we zoom around, you can see that's actually made a hole in the wall, which is quite good. Okay, so say you want to make, ooh, I don't know, a roof. All right. So you want to make a roof. Best thing, best thing to do, in my opinion, is literally just to get the raised tool. You know, get this top bit, raise up a bit more. And then what you can do is you can get the pencil tool, which is also a very helpful tool because it means you can draw on lines where you want. It doesn't really matter. You know, you can pretty much draw everything with this. This is a very good tool. So what I do is I draw two lines down to there or wherever. You know, you you can you can have your roof as ornate or simple as you want. It's not really it's not really very hard. And then I get the push tool push pull tool and I just literally take that bit off the roof there and I take that bit off the roof there so now we've got a rather nice looking roof haven't we now I wonder, I wonder what you're thinking right now you're probably thinking oh Christian there's no colour on it well we can change that see the paint bucket tool up here you just click on that and it brings up a menu of all the textures you want so you know there's brick and cladding carpet and textiles there's just regular colours which is just literally the whole you know, every single colour you can think of. So if I want roofing, right, I'm going to have some fairly decent shingles like that. So I'm going to have that there and that there. There we go. Got some shingles in our roof. So now I want brick and cladding for the walls. Okay. There we go. Simple as really. It's not really a problem. There we go. I mean, that house is looking, you know, pretty well, looking pretty much like a house now. So that's good. Um, I think possibly what. It, the, or the thing about this is, um, because it's a free design, obviously it's limited um, to as what as to what you can do with it. But it's, I mean, it's it's pretty simple. It's it's good for learners, good for, good for amateur designers. If you can't afford anything like Vectorworks or you know other design programs, because they're, they're all quite pricey. This this is very simple. It's very good for um, people learning how to design. Uh, 3D. Um, and another cool thing about this is it's got it's got an online database. So if you need a bit of furniture for your house or something, you can just go on Window, go down to Components, 
and it brings up the online database. So this basically is a massive compilation of everything everybody's ever saved to the site. So say we want a bench, type in bench and see what comes out. So there we go, we have a, we have a bench there and I just literally click it, put my cursor where I want it and it's there. So you see? So let's say I want that bench a bit bigger, what do I do? Well I click it like that, I get the multi-tool and I can just, I can just uh, file I don't actually know how to do that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure you can make it a lot bigger. I can't exactly remember how though. Where is it? Uh, explode, I think. That's it. Nope. Nope. Just me being useless. Right. Okay. Well, there we go. There's our there's our there's our bench next to the house. So you know you can you can select this and you can move it about wherever. You click the select tool and you can move it about. Um, so that's pretty pretty much the basics of what you can do with Google Sketchup. I mean, obviously your imagination is the limit. If you can imagine it, you know you can design it. So, yeah, thanks for watching. This is this is this is the um, this is the free version of Google Sketchup. Obviously, there's a paid for version which you can get. I think it's about thirty six pounds, which is about about forty five fifty American dollars if you live in America. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you like the video. If you want more reviews like this, just leave comments. Okay, goodbye.